Let's go to page 43, and this is lesson 4.4, and this is about percents. So percent means over a hundred, okay, so percent, okay, means something over a hundred or per hundred. So 30 percent means 30 over 100. Now let's look over some examples. On page 44, example 4-10, okay, it says write 33 and one third percent as a decimal and as a fraction. So you got 33 and one third percent. So again, whenever you see this means over 100. So this is equal to 33 and one third over 100. Okay, and then, so what you want to do is convert this into um, convert this into improper fraction. So this will equal to 100 over 3 over 100. Now you have a mixed, you have a um, complex number. Okay, so you can put this over 1 and you can use outer over inner. So this is equal to 100 over 300. So this is equal to 1 third. And if you convert into decimal, this can equal to 0 0.3 repeating. Okay, let's go to example 4-11. Okay, so it's write 2 over 5 as, as percent. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to figure what, what this equal to x over 100. That's what you try to figure. Again, percent means over 100. Okay, so to figure the x, cross multiply, or just go and multiply both sides by 100. So x equal to 200 over 5. So x equal to 40. So that means this is equal to 40%. Okay, let's go to example 4-12. Okay. Now for this one, you want to be careful when you translate. Okay, so it says 75 is means equal, 20% means 20 over 100. So 75 is 20% of, means times, one number, so that's your x. Okay, so again, no, make sure you know how to translate. Now to solve this, you just go ahead and uh, move things around, right? So you're going to get 75 times 100 over 20, right? Move this over, move this down. So cancel, cancel. So x equal to 375. Okay, let's go to example 4-13. It says the price of the car, so we call it P, so price of a car originally equal to $10,000. If the price is decreased by 25% and then it's increased by 25%, so what would be the resulting price? Okay. So you started $10,000. Now when you go down, when you decrease by 25% means you end up with 75%, okay? Now when you go up by 25% means you end up with 125%. Okay, so now go and get your calculator and you multiply out and you end up with 9375. Okay, let's go to example 4-14. Suppose you borrow four, uh, $4,000 at 5% annual interest. How much money will you owe after four years? Okay, so you, so you start at 4000 and after one year, you're going to have to multiply by 1.05. Okay, 1.05 means 105%. So 100% is your your principal and 5% is your um, is the interest. 
Okay, so you get total 105 percent. So after one year, after two years, after three years, after four years. Okay, so go and get your calculator and you work it out, multiply out, and then this will equal to 4,862.03. Now when the answer is a when the answer is a money, you always want to run it off to the nearest cent. Okay, let's go to example 4-15. So example 4-15 is a mixture problem. So two liters of 20% acid solution are mixed with eight liters of 50% eight liters of acid solution. What is the concentration of the resulting solution? So whenever you have a mixture problem, it's easier to do when you keep track of, um, of different components. Okay, so you have the A, B, and you have the mix over here, and you have the S, A, uh, T. So S is a strength, okay? And I'm just gonna drop the percent because if you, know, if you just be consistent, you'll be okay. So the strength of the first one um, is 20%, and among is how many liters, so two liters of 20%, mixed with 8 liters of a 50% and you want to find out what's the result so you're looking for what is the result what's the concentration or the strength okay so again when you mix these two together you're going to 2 liters mixed with 8 liters you're going to get 10 liters okay now the 2 liters tw times 20% so this is going to give you the, the amount of acid okay so multiply 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 so this is amount of acid again remember I dropped a percent already right so so this would be the the acid in in a acid in B and acid in the the mix so here's your equation okay so 40 plus 400 equal to 10x so you got 440 equal to 10x so x equal to 44 okay so the concentration is 44 percent solution